Hello, Wildcats. I can hear you out there. Peace, love, and blessings to all our garrison students, parents, and teacher. I am Mr. Wynn, and today I'll be reading Ruby Sings the Blues, written and illustrated by Nikki Daly. Ruby's voice is loud. It drives everyone crazy. Her parents and teachers suggest she turn down the volume, but Ruby switches it up instead, and soon even her school friends have had enough. Poor Ruby feels blue, really blue, but Bernard and Zelda, her jazz playing neighbors, have an idea. Let the story begin. Everybody, I'm home. Rudy was loud, very loud. When she hollered down the street, the man on the top floor yelled, Keep it down, loud mouth. I'm trying to sleep. The student on the middle floor shouted, Hey, boombox, I can't hear myself think. The saxophonist and the jazz singer in the basement looked at each other. Awesome, they said. At home, Ruby's parents tried to stay calm. Ruby, dear, they said. Do you think you could be a bit quieter? Like this? Just a tinksy bit down, said Ruby's father. How's this, Pops? Better, they said. Now, do you think you can keep it like that? Okay, I'll try. But in class, Ruby was loud. Head splittingly loud. Hey, Miss Nightingale, may I answer that question? At playtime, Miss Nightingale spoke gently to Ruby. Let's pretend you're a sound blaster, said Miss Nightingale, pointing to three buttons on Ruby's blouse. This button is your on button, this one is your off button, and the one in the middle is your volume control. Miss Nightingale gave Ruby's middle button a twiddle. Okay, let's hear you, Ruby, she said. Am I on now? You are always on, Ruby. And always loud, said Miss Nightingale. Why don't we turn down the volume a bit more? Is this better? Much better, Ruby. Now go and play, said Miss Nightingale. Ruby ran outside, turned her volume control right up, and blasted across the playground. I'm a sound blaster! The other children couldn't bear it. They all turned around and shouted, Switch it off, Ruby. You're hurting our ears. No one wanted to play with Ruby. She was too loud to have around. Switched off and sad, Ruby walked home. No one in her neighborhood even knew she had come home. That whole afternoon, Ruby kept quiet. Her mother wondered if she was sick, but Ruby wasn't sick. She had the blues. When the sax player and the jazz singer didn't hear Ruby upstairs, they knocked on the door and asked, What's up, Ruby? In a tinksy voice, Ruby explained how nobody wanted to play with her because she was too loud. Well, we think you have an awesome voice, said Bernard, the sax player. Yes, said Zelda. I'd love to teach you how to use it. Would you like to learn how to sing, Ruby? asked her mother. Awesome! Ruby's mother smiled. There was nothing wrong with Ruby. Every day after school, Ruby took singing lessons with Bernard and Zelda. She copied the musical notes Bernard made on his saxophone. Zelda taught Ruby how to use her volume control so she can sing sharp zooming notes like the sounds of the city and gentle breathy notes like a cool evening breeze. Most of all, she taught Ruby to sing with film. When the man on the top floor heard Ruby, he said, what a beautiful voice. The student on the middle floor said, cool, man. The kids on the block came out and danced on the sidewalk, chanting, go, Ruby, go. And Bernard looked at Zelda and said, listen, Ruby's singing the blues. And when Ruby sang at her school concert, she was, well, just awesome.
But once in a while, when the neighbors least expect it, she turns it right up. Hi, everybody, I'm home. Just to check that her volume control is still working. The end. I hope you enjoyed Ruby Sings the Blues. Until next time. But don't forget to check out the glossary at the end of the video.